Hi, I'm Nicola T and I've come to London today to talk to you about the World Cup. Now, we're talking World Cup and research shows that 11 million women will become World Cup widows this summer with a shocking 23% of women hoping that England get dumped so that they can get their men back. But what do people around here think? Um, will you be watching the World Cup this year? Probably not. You won't be watching. Will you be watching the World Cup? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, we'll be, there will be a time that she'll get angry, so I have my own room, my own TV. I don't buy it. I, will, I won't buy it. What will you do for her that will make her? have to buy her flowers after the match, I guess. No, she won't let me watch all the matches. I'll try and get her involved in the English matches. Yeah. Well, he's really fussy about watching the game, so he has all his mates over sometimes. I'm not allowed in the room. Um, he's really fussy about um, getting pizzas in, making sure his beers are cold, etc. I'm not allowed to do any housework as well, because basically if I'm hoovering or the washing machine's on, it interrupts the game, apparently. Yeah, I'll watch him with him. Oh yeah. Yeah. You're such a good Make wife. Make sausage rolls for the boys. Indicet have done some research that shows that women during the World Cup will be getting less attention and one in 12 women will be getting less sex. Come on, boys, this isn't on. Right, I'm just going to get straight in there and ask this. Uh, do you think... The World Cup is going to affect your sex life in any way, shape or form. No. I reckon it might make the, the men a bit horny, because like, they get a bit excited about football, don't they? Especially if they lose. If they lose somewhere, they've got to win somewhere. Well, this yeah. is it. It can <laughs> affect your sex life when they lose. Yeah. So you're kind of thinking, I hope they don't lose. Footlong sausage. Who's got a footlong sausage? That's too wrong. It's a chipolata, love. That's a chipolata. No, that's what you've got, though. I've got a Frank <laughs> If England win, you're, you're literally going to be bonking for England. It's nature. That happens every day, doesn't it? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Boring if you only done it every four years, wouldn't it? Do you not think they might sort of celebrate with a bomb? I don't know. Well, would what you? You? I would, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'd try to anyway. It would have been that much I've had a drink, though, wouldn't it? You could commiserate with a bonk, or you could, like, celebrate with a bonk. Either way, <laughs> it could work, couldn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Who, who do you think is going to win the World Cup? Argentina. I absolutely believe England is going to win the World Cup. No, no way. Us, England. Really? Yeah. Brazil. I think World Cup is probably going to be a little bit of a strain in our relationship, but, you know, see how we get on. What do you think it would take for their partners to sweeten them up? Like, a new handbag. A new handbag, yeah, yeah definitely agree. Yeah, send us shopping while I'm watching the football. Yeah, take me out shopping first. I <laughs> find a nice place where we can kind of both, like, I can kind of take my friends with me so I'm not kind of on my own. Things like watching chick flicks. Oh, really? So it's an equal balance. Oh, OK, I've watched six flick chick flicks, so you should be able to watch six matches with me. Will you give us some money to go shopping? <laughs> I don't exaggerate, but I'll be cooking. Cooking. Yeah. So if he cooks you like a really, really nice meal. Yeah. You can watch football, that's fine. Dunno, I suppose give her a few quid so she can go out shopping. There you go. Hopefully you've got a few tips on how to keep your ladies happy during the World Cup. And ladies, if you do want to distract your man while he's watching the football, then maybe a cute little outfit like mine might do the trick.